What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and we're gonna talk about something that was sort of unavoidable because everybody keeps sending me the link to the Vice Media rental car expose, let's call it, uh, media story, I don't know what you wanna call it. But ultimately the, the purpose of this video, and, and I'll just start off by saying I did not enjoy it. The editing was good. Um, it, it is what you expect from a proper production company, but ultimately it was a cheap shot at just a guy who's a liar and that you can do sort of in any business and that was not really reporting what, what the story was sort of trying to highlight sort of was that there's sketchy stuff going on in the rental business and in the exotic rental business down in florida and that's pretty easy to expose and look into and dig up and like oh we rented this car and it was owned and operated by this but this company doesn't have any idea who this guy like that could have happened as a news report. So they're running around like they're trying to do a news report and all they're doing is finding some guy and making him look like an asshole. And to be fair, I mean, a lot of people talk a lot of shit. And, and the biggest problems you have in the exotic car rental space are people that are, are just, it's, they don't own the cars, they're renting out cars that aren't insured properly. And that leaves a lot of exposure. And I, and I don't know where that exposure really falls, whether, the renter has a problem. If something does happen, I mean, ultimately you'd hope that they're insured, but there's just this like wild west of, I've always had to figure out how to compete with those guys. And ultimately I just, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. Like I'm not gonna bother you. Sorry, can't price match. You're paying for a proper service here. If you want a proper service with a proper car, you give us a call, we're happy to do it. Now, one of the first things I noticed was when they were, were at that company, uh, and I don't know them well, but uh, I've heard of them, MVP, uh, they use the same GPS trackers that we do, Links Up. So I saw it on the screen, I'm like, ah, cool, Links Up. And then I uh, showed somebody in my office, I'm like, oh, they use the same GPS. Anyway, um, I was watching through that, and ultimately, the, the guy is just, I don't know what the, he, like, if you listen to him talk, I mean, they got guys doing drugs, and they're, they're showing, like, yeah, uh, so I made $980,000, and I did it by, uh, bringing people to clubs and renting cars and drugs. And then, uh, and I'm like, well, the drugs, that's where you sold and made your money. Like if he even made that money, it's all a load of bullshit. But ultimately a lot of people pass this over to me and it does sort of highlight that, uh, that there is risk in the exotic car rental space when you're renting and there's just, but like, I don't know how to sort of put my hands around this piece as news. And it wasn't news. It's, it's sort of like a, like a clickbait shame piece on this guy designed as new or like masked as news. Sort of like, I mean, everything you see in the news nowadays, they lie about everything. All they want to do is have some like, aha, gotcha moment. And then, oh, cool. That, that's now going to get people to pass it around and share it. They're not looking to really expose anything. They're just looking to entertain you, show you what you want to see, and hopefully that makes its way around. And that's the same thing with the weather forecaster at the, the hurricane. Oh, I'm blowing over right now. And two dudes walk right behind them. Why do you got to do that? And then the weather channel, instead of just being like, yeah, he was exaggerating a little bit. Everybody sort of does. Like, no, no, he was standing on the grass. And I'm like, give me a freaking break. Like now you're insulting everybody saying you're idiots. Just say like, yeah, look, you got me. Like I was, I was embellishing a little bit. Anderson Cooper kneeling down in the water to make it look deeper than it is. I mean, this stuff happens all the time. My favorite one was the woman with the canoe. Oh, Wayne, New Jersey. I'm from uh, Bergen County, which is right next to Wayne, New Jersey. Wayne, New Jersey's flooded right now. I'm in my canoe here. And then two dudes walk. I mean, I, I, you're not even talking ankle deep water. The canoe must have been resting on the ground. And here she is pretending. And then even the, the people on the air are like, well, can we stop you for a second there? Are you, is there, is there like a big drop off where you are? Or, uh, and it's just, it's like, it's like laughable. But why must we over exaggerate stuff? The news is supposed to be, here's what's happening. Think for yourself, whether you like it, you don't like it, whatever it is, but here's the, here's the facts. And the news runs around like this and like the weather channel, Jesus Christ, it's the freaking weather. Like we don't need flooding if there's no flooding. Hey, good news. We thought it was gonna be a pretty big storm. Not really a big storm. Thank God most people are safe. We're all good. And like, even like, oh, we had a storm related death and I'm sorry, somebody died, but like we had a storm related death. A woman drove into a downed tree. 
I'm like, can you really blame that on the storm that happens when it rains anywhere? Like people drive into trees. So like, is that really a hurricane related death? I don't know. I, I just, all of this um, exaggeration and, and I've, I've been interviewed by news sources and it's always like they twist it to make whatever they want. And I always like when I'm talking to the camera, I'm like, editor guy, you, don't you fucking do me dirty. Like I want you to get, edit me fair is all I ask. And that's something that they don't do. They, whatever, cutting room floor, we're going to edit you the way we want to edit you to make people sort of be wowed by it. News doesn't have to be wow. News can be boring. Hey, nothing happened today. Great, everybody can go back about their lives. Instead, they've got to make something out of nothing, and that sort of sucks. And that's what this piece was with the, with the guy in the Lamborghini. You got a guy who's 23 years old, nothing adds up. Yeah, I got 30 cars, blah, blah, blah. And then they have to sort of shame this guy. You could tell he's full of shit from the first 10 seconds and the first words that come out of his mouth, you could tell this guy's full of shit. And instead of like deeping in, uh, digging into the industry and sort of looking as to, okay, like that's one guy, they put the spotlight on this guy who's full of shit, follow him around, do all this stuff, do this big piece on the guy, and then make him look like an asshole in the end. And like, why don't you just say like, all right, he's an asshole. Like, we, uh, dude, we could tell you're full of shit. You're telling me you own these cars. We're looking at the registrations. None of this adds up. Blow him out of the water. Be like, all right, we, we spoke to this guy. And they even put the text. We couldn't corroborate any of the stuff that uh, this guy said. Because he's been lying to you the whole time. Why do you continue to film him? Why don't you switch on to somebody else and do actual news reporting? So if you haven't seen it, check out the Vice Media documentary on exotic car sketchiness down in Miami. It's the same way in Miami. It's the same way in Vegas. Um, you just get these guys that, that think... It's the same thing the guy says, yeah, some guy who wants to own a Ferrari without paying for it. And this whole like Toro idea of like, I'll just go out and I'll buy a car and I rent it. There's a lot more involved in renting exotic cars. You have to have the right insurance. Number one, first and foremost, you have to have the right insurance. And that's for your protection and the renter's protection. But ultimately, if you've got nothing to lose, Great, whatever, I'm 23, I'm gonna rent something out, somebody's gonna try to sue me, they're gonna see I have zero, I don't even have any money in my pocket, and there's nothing to go after me for. So you got all those guys, but you have to you have to do it right. I mean, there, there's certain industries, you, you gotta have the right, ins like insurance is like the, the most basic thing, the, the first thing I would think of when renting out an exotic car is, is this a legitimate car? The other risk you're running if you're going to a guy like this, they may not be maintaining the cars. Even he says like, yeah, don't like, whatever. I rent to guys that can't get approved because they don't have the insurance, so I'll sub-rent it to them. Now you're right in the middle of it. Now the rental company's exposed, you're exposed, and the other guy is like, and the guy who can't get insurance for whatever reason shouldn't be renting to begin with. And all of this, I mean, you're running the risk of, say the rental company or the guy you borrowed a car for to rent it out to somebody, guy didn't maintain the car, what happens? Blows out a tire or like, um, uh, the engine grenades and he says you owe me a new engine nothing good comes of that just there's there's a proper way if you're going to do a business do it right i don't care what business it is if you're going to do it do it right if you're going to do news do it right unfortunately i don't think we're ever going to fix that problem but thank you for watching check out the vice media expose media report whatever the hell you want to call it on uh the guy who you can only feel bad for in the end like that's the whole thing you watch it and you're like like Guy walks out with his tail between his legs. He was thinking he was going to be like the, the superstar, like getting all this business, this is great for my business, and they make him look like an asshole. Uh, it was predictable. You see it coming from the beginning, and it sort of sucks to be that guy. Vice Media, congratulations. Like, you can get a video that gets a bunch of views, but whatever video you did, even if it was real news, would have gotten a bunch of views anyway. Look at John Oliver. You can do news, you can make it funny and still report with accuracy, or at least attempt to report with accuracy. I don't watch enough of John Oliver's stuff, but he's good at digging into that, uh, I don't know, the, 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 the risky stuff that most people seem to avoid or not even bother diving into. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow, because speaking of rental car companies, tomorrow I'm going to explain what happened at the old Gotham warehouse. See you then.